One. So, finally started the twitching hour. Twelve minutes late. Sorry about that. You know what Sneak it's like. Sneakers fault. Sneakers fault. Always. <laughs> um, he doesn't like to be interrupted when he's working. He really need to get something done. So, welcome to another twitching hour. This was actually supposed to be happening next week. Yeah. But next week we're going to um, to a game dev conference in Bucharest. So Tuesday we're gonna be over there. So we said, you know, rather than um, denying you the absolute pleasure, <laughs> rather than not having a, a twitching hour, salute. Rather than not having a twitching hour for three weeks, we figured that we'd just do one in advance. Talk to you guys about what's been going on, uh, what we're excited about, how things are going with the game, and just answering your questions. It's really just talking about anything you guys feel like. Uh, these things are very free form. Whatever you guys feel like talking about or asking you just feel free and then we'll do a giveaway hey michael hey marco hey everyone hello everyone uh, hello hello welcome to the stream so we've been talking about this but the reason that we uh that we're doing a twitching hour one week in advance is that we're gonna go and finally show the game at a conference properly mm -hmm. we have gone we were telling you guys last week about when we went to germany and we sh sort of showed the game there but in sort of a very non-official way. We showed it at an adventure games party and that was very cool because it was... Hey Retalk! Hey Retalk! Because um, it was exactly our target audience. Yeah. So it was very, very cool to show the game there. And then we showed it at Gamescom but in a very guerrilla, guerrilla kind of fashion. You know, we just yeah. put up our laptop there and people were just walking over. It wasn't anything official. So now we're going to have a... No, I'm not. I'll have one. Now we're gonna have a booth and have thank you. We're gonna have a booth and everything. We're very excited. I'm stressed out because there's all these like this the roll up banner, um, and the t-shirts that we need to print and the cards and the stickers and everything. And man, I hope they come out. Hope they come out nicely. We're gonna have a pretty small booth, but we want to make make the most of it. And what we need to do is look for. We want to find like black velvet that we want to drape around the yeah don't get your hopes up that. <laughs> i don't know where well it's some kind of material that fine <laughs> black velvet i don't know some kind of material that we can drape around the the booth and stuff yeah. and uh mm, would be awesome if we could if we had some candle holders and some candles and like a mm. like a, we need to find a, a skull it would be awesome if we had a skull with a melted candle on top of it oh. It would be awesome. Where can we find the skull? I have no idea. I mean, this graveyard, obviously, but not... That's a good idea. I don't know. We need to find a skull. We could, like, 3D print a skull. Oh, that would take ages. Yeah. I know you have your face and your hand uh, with porcelain, but that's not really a skull. Yeah, the molds of my hand and my... That would be just <laughs> weird. <laughs> so... And that's pretty much what's been on our minds lately. Yeah. Um, so it's it's our first official presentation yeah. of the game to a conference. Yeah. With the booth and everything. It is, and, and it's also the first life. time that all of us together go to these things. Because when I last went to Death Play with Nico, it was just me and him, and I really regret not having Kami there. I thought she wouldn't enjoy it. I was obviously very wrong. <laughs> Then when we, when, when we went to Germany, it was just the two of us, so finally we're going there as a team. As the team that we are. Well, let's hope we make it there, because with Nick was driving. Sure. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to come last year. I was so terrified of it's okay. going to Bucharest. Yeah. I'm Don and Lindsay know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we're excited about that. Another exciting piece of news is that we have submitted um our game to the nordic games pitch they have they do this like uh discovery mm -hmm. thing uh where they have this big conference in sweden next year in 2018 and there's all these affiliated smaller conferences and you you know you pitch your game to them and they either select you or you don't so we were selected for the nordic pitch that means that i have to get up on stage and do a five minute pitch about the game and then answer questions for five minutes. I was really hoping that I wouldn't have to do any kind of public speaking this time and, around, but apparently. And they 
say in the presentation that the the way you present your game matters as much. I mean, yeah. also, that the presentation also matters. So exactly. don't mess it up. No, it's definitely there. not going to be a boring, cold presentation. I'm going to try and make it as, as funny and as personal as possible. I just have no idea what we're going to do. And the thing that I dread most is making a PowerPoint presentation. Oh, I can do Fucking that. Fucking hate. You. Can, can you can we insert videos into yeah. PowerPoint? Okay, yeah. I don't know, man. It's just. Whew. Oh, I did it for my TEDx. I mean, it wasn't working, but I did it. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, that that might just be the way that it's going. Cause I, I no, man, I, I really wish I, I could be a public I'm speaker. That with all these streams, you'll be able to talk a lot better. At I don't least know, it's given you the the certainty that you can talk, even if you don't remember what you wanted to say. You can just talk freely and just say something like we do on these streams yeah so before these streams i used to be terrified of i don't know people watching me and talking about something because i had this idea that if i don't prepare in advance i'm just going to say crap which i kind of am but people don't <laughs> really mind that much so it's fine if you say silly things yeah i guess i guess i guess and you're when, right when i had my my tedx book, this was the first time i spoke in public man i i've I've learned a thing by heart and I was yeah. so terrified I was gonna forget it and I w wouldn't be able to say anything and it was awful because it, it felt, I mean you could see that it, it's, it wasn't coming, you know, for me it was something I learned and that, that sucks. So from now on, be like you are on the streams. Yeah. You're awesome. And again, this, I have to say this every time we do the Twitching Hour, Nico is not checking his Facebook or his Twitter. He's yeah, actually... Yeah, he just doesn't want to talk. He's not... <laughs> yeah, he's just reading the comments because yeah. he's... The, the the setup here is very... It, it sucks because it's difficult for all three of us to be close to the computer and read the comments off the monitor. So that's why Nico is reading talk, them. He could talk, but he doesn't want to. He could talk. He could just read... He could just read the comments. The comments and... But I guess he likes to type. So... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Practice on people, not by yourself. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, you know, I never get, even if, I don't know, it's weird. Even if it were a thousand people watching us right now, which will probably never happen, yeah, I wouldn't be nervous. But when you see people right in front of you and they're just staring at you, I it's think, just a little I bit intimidating. I think it goes somewhere, like f somewhere to a, a much older part of your brain when you actually see people that you consider them a threat, like here and when you, when you talk. Not a threat. And you, and what, is the, what is the psychological explanation? You that there are people listening to you. But you don't see them. But you don't see them. I think it's just like, it, it's just an abstract thought. But when you actually see people, that's when you get terrified. Because it's not reason, it's just, I don't know. But what's the explanation of being terrified of public You're speaking? You're afraid of not being socially accepted. The well, need for social acceptance is built within us. And you're afraid that if you say something, they won't socially accept you, and you lose the group, and, and they exclude you from the tribe, and things like that, and you will starve alone. It's the activity. <laughs> <laughs> I love well, that he's explanation. Right. He's right. <laughs> he but is it's, right. It's the actual. It's the setup. Like it's you, and there are people looking at you, so it automatically makes two groups: it's you and the people, and you feel excluded. And well, it builds the expectation of doing well like entertaining them or saying something relevant since you managed to attract yes, their attention I don't know. it's really oh man this is complicated so i think it's it's not a fact that yeah i think it's because everyone's watching and if you, if you <laughs> say something bad as nico said you could be excluded from the group and that in prehistoric times means you'd starve and die alone and well, we should have evolved past if that you are right. uh, prepared you won't have any problems I'm now, now if that happens, you just become a game developer and maybe you get rich and all's <laughs> good, but you don't die alone. Yeah, That's it's also the fact that we're doing, this is sort of atypical what we're doing here, showing the world what we're doing, because mm -hmm. game development by nature is just something that you do huddled up in your space and you just throw the game out there. This, it didn't used to be such a public thing. I mean, it didn't yeah, happen. Yeah, but then again, didn't we didn't really have, have internet. Yeah, right. Sense the squirrel. Uh, welcome to the stream. And yeah, I should just put a banner up there saying Nico's checking Twitch chat. <laughs> He's not on Facebook. Not all the time, all at least. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the, the, the I don't think I spend more than 15 minutes a day on Facebook. The, the imagining people naked, it is weird because either it's hot 
people that you might be physically attracted to, which would confuse you even more, or it'd be people who are not attracted, who there. you're not attracted to, and then it would just be weird. Like, what, shouldn't you be focusing on what you want to say and not imagining people, Nick? You know, it's just, it just seems like such a big effort to make. I think the thing is, and I, I noticed this from when, when, when we had a band, you know, you just expect people to be outwardly as excited about what you're doing as you are. But there are, there are times when I will watch a band and I will not outwardly manifest, but I just love it. But when you're, you're in a band and you're playing and people are just nodding their head or not that into it, not as into it as you are, maybe you just feel a little... It depends what kind pathetic. of music you're playing, because it, it's not, it doesn't go to all. So if you're no, I don't mean classical mellow, music, I'm you... talking rock stuff, rocking out stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Nico, why don't you say that? Don't type <laughs> it. It loses impact if you type it. You have to say it. Oh, if I talk, you say I interrupt you. If I no, talk, we don't. no, 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 no. Just don't interrupt us. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay to talk, just not when we no, start the thing a is sentence that, uh, and then you just. From time to time, it's, uh, even now, since I'm streaming almost every day, mm -hmm. uh, there were times when I streamed like every day, five hours, seven. Uh, the stream catches me in a bad time sometimes. It's mm -hmm. like I'm working on something and I have to put it on hold, install the webcam and start talking and you know and uh, I don't want to seem like uh, I don't respect you guys because uh, it's exactly the opposite but there are days when I'm really focused because there is a lot of pressure on me to finish the game I'm yeah. building it all by myself and it has to work and it has to, I want to, make, uh, to build it optimized and not do shortcuts in code because in the long run we might have problems with the game, so instead of doing things the easy way and just be like, okay, I finished, I want to take another hour or two, but in the end I know that my code doesn't do any loops and doesn't do any searches, it just goes from one thing to the next to the next and it just works, so... And that's what I wanted to say, or mm -hmm. if I didn't have the chance I would have typed it, so... Maybe yeah. not in so many words that I said it, but... No, no, I, I can relate to that. Like, for example, I was feeling horrible physically today, but you know, you, you do have to stream. And I did kind of complain a lot. I noticed that I do complain a lot. But the thing is that, you know, it's that show must go on thing. You know, people expect you to stream, even if we don't have like no, audiences so sorry, of have thousands. Streamed. No, 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 that's not what I'm I'm saying. It's cool. I'm saying. It's cool. It's cool. It's just that. I thought it's cool. It's cool. I wanted to stream. I wanted to stream. It makes me feel good. It's just that no, I understand Nico. You know, you 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 need to you need to go live even if you maybe you don't feel as communicative as usual. You just gotta you just gotta do it because it's there's a schedule there and you need to respect it. You know, and it's the same thing with yeah, developing the game. Sometimes you're maybe you're too tired or you're feeling sick and stuff, but you can't just give up. Just gotta keep keep doing it. It's just and with. Twitching hours sometimes you can't you don't have the chance to read all the comments because we talk and then people write a lot of stuff and you it's hard to catch up on yeah. all the comments. Well, so there is the advantage. We're sorry if if we don't answer anything, but it's not because we don't want you just write again if we don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Local village engineering faculty. <laughs> yeah, both Kami and Niku went to the local local village. Yeah. Colleges. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, retalk. It is. Like, for example, it depends. I like Nico's approach. He's very natural when he's streaming. If he's focused, he doesn't just talk just for the sake of talking, you know? I mean, he's focused there, he's doing his stuff. There may be people who are tuning in understand what he's doing if it's more technical stuff. Like, for me, for example, I just feel very self-conscious all the time and I just feel the need to talk constantly. So I'm, I'll be exhausted when I, if I do a three or four hour stream, I'll be just be exhausted at this because I just feel this. I'm, I feel like a, like I'm on the radio, like there must not <laughs> be any not kind of radio. dead air. So you're not on, on the radio. I it's know, okay to be that there if you're working. I mean, people can see that you're know. focusing. And it's, I guess it's just, uh, I mean, if you're really in the flow, you know, and you're really focused on what you're doing, it's hard to talk about something else. I know. I know. Sometimes. I guess it's my type of personality. I just feel like I, 
Yeah, I guess I want people to like me. I guess I guess that's my problem. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that I stream sometimes, so our backers <laughs> it's out of we focus, are transparent it's out of focus. about what you do. So I I don't see all the streams like streams for publicity or streams that are uh, prepared uh, before uh, where I have a plan or okay I'm going to show this or that. So I consider uh, some of the streams. I don't know if most just uh, a way where people can see that uh, we are not wasting the, especially the backers are not wasting the money. We are working on the game and they can check it out. You know something like a big brother that's that can check our progress and the developing of the game each and every day. They can see that we are working and we are implementing more and more and more and we are not losing time in uh, I don't know on a highland in Bahamas just. Stretching on a beach or something. Yeah. So yeah, I'm sorry if some of the streams are not entertaining, but uh, uh, I do have a lot of work. So yeah, no. I, exactly. I sometimes approach the streams uh, in this way. People can come in and check it out how we're doing with the game, and they can do that. They if like yeah, let's see how the game doing or what they're working on, and how's the game going. So mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. is how I see my my streams. Yeah. Andre, uh, who who did you address that question to? Who about the university? I think and it was Nico, you, probably. I'm sorry. Stop I'm sorry. hitting the table because the microphone. I know. You know, there's a solution to that. I read about that, but I keep forgetting. You need to put like a piece of of soft cloth under oh. the mic, and it's not going to make that much noise anymore. But I don't think we have put any my right jacket. now. Hmm? My jacket. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay. It needs to be a soft cloth. Anyway, yeah, it was to Nico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tonico. Uh, and I was just looking at the question yeah. and I was reading everything. So uh, most of the things I am self-taught. At the university, I've, I can say I have uh, broadened <laughs> my horizons because uh, some projects were required and I wanted to do some projects. So I didn't have to do... Uh, to in, you, do exams, you know, if you had a really cool project, you would pass an exam, and I worked on that really cool project, and I've learned things that way, but I also, from the first year of my university, I was uh, employed as a full-time programmer, so I was working eight hours a day, and also doing daily Here, university right? classes, yeah, and I, at my, at my job, I learned a lot of things, it was another company, and so I can say that not, not only self-taught, but uh, I've learned from other programmers and internet and things like that. Yeah, I think you learn most by just working. That's my experience too. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Retalk. No, I, 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 enjoy, I enjoy talking a lot while I stream. Uh, maybe I overdo it sometimes, you know, maybe I just overwhelm people with I'm just I just have like this stream of consciousness approach to it, but yeah, you it's are okay. Virginia. Yeah, actually, flimsy. It's not leather. It's fake leather. It does look like leather, but it's, it's fake leather. It's ecological leather. It's eco e e e eco leather. Eco leather. <laughs> what does that mean? It means that it looks like that leather. That was killed eat ecological food. No, what? not really. I'm sorry. This is my mom. I need to tell her that I'm streaming. Yeah, She's it. gonna be, be upset if I don't answer. Hello. Well, ecological leather. It means it's plastic. Yeah. Um, leather. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and uh, as uh, I was saying, uh, while wow. uh, I like the idea of considering myself self self thought, uh, being part of uh, several teams at my previous uh, workplace or even for the company, the company that we used to work for. And we are still working in a okay, I, weird way, doesn't matter the details. But I learned a lot from the teams I was a part of and uh, uh, the colleagues helping you around the part of your team and things like that. So that's what really got me going in programming or whatever skill I required. You know, just having uh, <laughs> colleagues that uh, mentored me and I could grow. Oh my god. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's why Elon Musk. Sometimes I think you're yeah. right. <laughs> that's why Elon Musk is so afraid of, of artificial intelligence. Because he met Nico. Or yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, because because there are self-programming robots like oh, me. Okay. Michael said it, not me. Yes, we refer sometimes. Uh, and Joe. Andre, where where are you from? Are you from Trgumoris or are you from Cluj? I can tell you, it doesn't matter if you're going to Trgumoris or Cluj or even Bucharest. It's the same. Here is my fake I, leather jacket, which is solely black. I can say that it's the same shit. What you learn the most is working. Yeah. Can Being I part of teams Jesus. that actually do great. The stream and Sorry guys. So I'm gonna no. put my jacket, my hard cloth on the fake leather jacket. Okay. Man, look at this light. What's with the light today? First my mom, then my dad. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. If you can you wait for your uncle and aunt and sister. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What are you doing, Kami? Well, you're not in charge of the light. You don't. The mouse is there and. Just okay. Bring it yeah, in. I don't know what's going on. Like the sun keeps going and coming in and out of the clouds and just messing with our with our light. With our here. setting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> now it's a little bit too saturated, but it doesn't 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 really matter. Yeah, well, we have tech problems because we're so focused on getting the best that we can do for the game that. Is that good? You don't have time for anything else. Everyone is still working on the game, working on the game. Yeah. And I've been working for like three days on that uh, interface with everything and it's so complicated. It's complicated because uh, you have to select words from several books and the words have to be remembered and uh, when you open a book that word has to be underlined if you already selected it and you can remove it from different places and the word needs to stay in game and it needs to work with the save and load system and don can then use the words and actually speak them out loud when using the candle so everything is linked together there is the bookcase there's the open books there are the words there's the pentagram words there's the light candles and the pentagram in game the saving system so everything has to work with everything and uh, that's why it's uh, a bit more complicated than uh, yeah, it seems like it. We wanted to have a diverse, very diverse puzzles. That was that was the idea. So that means that sometimes Nico just has to start from scratch. There's not really a lot of reusing. So yeah. And since the squirrel, we don't have auto adjustments. It's just a really weird weather today. Like the sun's shining really bright, and then it yeah, it's not the OBS auto adjusting. It's the camera it's the actually. Camera, yeah. The camera, the, the driver for the webcam has an auto adjust one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and about dev play, we yeah. also go to so we'll go to Nordic Games yeah. that uh, that pitch you have to do, mm -hmm. and there's also another thing like um, the speed dating the pitch. The speed dating pitch. It's exactly <laughs> like speed dating. So you have like uh, 90 minutes to spend with all sorts of publishers and investors and uh, like people in the industry. And you have five minutes to pitch their, your game to each yes. one of them. It's really simple. So just, it's a comedy cosmic horror point and click adventure made in Transylvania, inspired by the. No, you I just, have to talk for five minutes. Yeah, I know, I know. I can talk for five That's minutes. That's a lot more. Than I, I, I can talk for more than five minutes. Uh, I do it uh, every day. <laughs> uh, Marco, at what you were asking, if there is any regret, we try this with three people. Uh, I could use another programmer, but in the end, I like that I can do things my way. I can do things the right way. I you know, did it my way. It's very hard. It's very hard to find not good people, responsible people. It's really hard to find responsible people and people that don't have the attitude like it works this way. Why should I change it or uh, yeah. let it be? It's going to be. It's good enough this way. Because you're not going anywhere with is good enough in the long yes. run. So true, true, very true. Yeah, it's, and it's hard with artists too because Turgumoros is such a small city. It's a small village, and all the artists, all the good artists, go away to other bigger cities, and they get better jobs. So here, people are not paid so well, and well, people don't go to. We don't have an art university here, so yeah. Most of the people who want to study art go away. Yeah, we we do very. And then they don't come back to this. We do very per, a very particular and pretty rare kind of thing, like the frame by frame animation 
It's just rare in and of itself, generally speaking, let alone in, in such a small village. So about the setup, you said Claude, candles, Carl Michael uh, asked if we are going with London with things like that. I think it's going, uh, they're not going to, I don't know, no, candles no. in the plane. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't think they work. We can do this because uh, we, but, we're going uh, by car. So. so I should find a skull. We need to talk about what we're missing. <laughs> that don't, sounds don't, weird. Don't, <laughs> Nico is too weird to, yeah. to handle that task. Yes. I can Just expect no, anything from Nico. Please one, don't right? go to the cemetery. I would and prefer it this. not to be real. No, no but you have to be authentic. Yeah, just do you have some at home? Skull and a few some balls. Some real skulls. <laughs> okay, that's scary. <laughs> no, why can't we just go to like like? And we can put a candle inside the skull. Yeah, no. not inside, like melting no, on inside. top. Inside it. Yeah. You can't light any, so we can't light candles because of fire no, regulations on, and no. stuff. There's With no the way we can. And candles, <laughs> there's no, no way we. No. Can. There's no way they're gonna let us. Let light light the 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 conference on fire. And it will just make people touch it. Only it's it's Yeah. No, we can only do this now because it's it, we we go there by car and we can lug all this stuff, you know, like hey, the TV. Hey, Good morning. Hey. Oh, cool, Michael. Yeah, we could get uh, so candles, you know, like uh, not real candles. Yeah type of candle yeah but how do you how do you uh, how do you how yeah, do you attach them to the candles that's, that's another thing senseless square when you're working in a team it's really important to have good readable code and comments and so on well um, sometimes i'm making shortcuts i try to name variables in such a way that i understand them for later on why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm laughing at Flimsy's comment. Oh. She knows that's, you. That's what I was afraid of Flimsy when he could ask, do you need a skull, a real skull? Yeah, she no knows problem. you. No problem, I have a ton at home. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I interrupted I'm you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I think cool. so. I'm excited about the Nordic games. I'm, I'm excited about the pitch thing. Yes, so you get to too. talk with a lot of me people too. and see what they say. Me too. And uh, uh, so this indie expo thing will also have. Um, an award, uh, award at the end, so there will be a gala. Really? Oh, yeah. cool. So each game that uh, that uh, is going to be at the Indie Expo is going to participate in this reward and it's going to be like best visuals, best uh, game and best, I don't know, something. Oh, so if we so win we, something, we, we can get one of those award things? I don't so maybe? know. I don't think we get <laughs> so anything, just the prize. No, no, I just winning. mean when you present, when you put up your game, you can you have like one of those small awards. Mm -hmm. So we're like going this. to London. That's yeah, a, we that's are. a done deal. Or? That's a done deal, man. We need to. We're not we need to buy as money. usual. Did we, did we buy tickets? Did we not? Yet? I don't yeah. think there's. Did we buy? Oh, we didn't buy plane tickets or anything, or Airbnb or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need to get on that. Well, yeah, we need to go to London. Unfortunately, we're always slow. We're always late to register for um, these things, so we can't be. We can't show the game officially at Adventure X. But people said that we can just mm, go there. So, so people said we can just go there with our laptop and. Are you doing it? Getting cookies. Oh, people it said so we were we could just go there with our laptop and just show the game, you know, unofficially. Yeah, it yeah. sucks. That's the thing, man. It's just, uh, it's just hard to manage everything. <laughs> we're uh, we're complying to the stereotype. Yeah. And we're slow. And the thing with adventure games, the thing with adventure games is that they don't you really demo that well. I was just trying to answer to Michael. Yeah, sure. You can even start a fire with a lemon. With a what? With a lemon. <laughs> that was a lemon very and a few wires. You can Why start would a fire. Why fire stars? <laughs> no, he said that nothing flameless. So I'm just oh. telling him that you can start a fire with a lemon and a few copper wires. Stop. I had no idea. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to advertise on. Hey, why will you do that? Will sorry. You take it away. Yeah, we might. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to take like a half a day off and just go looking for cloth and go looking for for those candle type things. Maybe we can find them. I don't know. Can we ask some other day if we can share the table or a booth? What do you mean? So no, the table we is can't. Really small. It's like seventy. Yeah, centimeters. we got this. We got this email saying that that. And only two chairs. One chair. One chair. Yeah. One chair. <gasps> They say they're I'll saying bring this other, is very... another two chairs. I have them in my car. When we're leaving, I'm going to show them yeah. to you. This is the, 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 I bought the, the chairs with me so you can see them. Cool, cool. They say the, the, that the space is really limited. Where I can bring my ball and everybody will want to we see don't even the ball. Know, we don't even know if we're going to have space to have both like the, monit like the TV and the roll-up. They say space is that limited. You only get something like behind. Well, the... we can put the TV somewhere else. 
I don't know. Nobody we'll will know. But you know what we need to do, and we should have done at Gamescom, and we didn't do it. This time we're gonna get a. We're gonna get. Uh, no, gonna actually, there are three cats. Oh Jesus Christ! There seriously. There is uh, Dexter. We're gonna get what? That was my sister. There is Kira. <laughs> oh, it's like your family. Your aunt or something else. Let's let's disturb him. Yeah, so it's gonna be awesome. And the light, the sun is back on. I have to change where's the mouse. Where is it? Hmm. We have to but start. I have to start driving at two a.m. Yeah, that's gonna be there. that's gonna be a bit a bit of a hustle. So nice. Only concern is, will I be able to start sleeping Sunday afternoon? You better be, because <laughs> then the day after you have to be at the conference all day long and then in the evening there's a party and we have to go there to the network. Yeah, so. that's the problem. I used to sleep at like 12 or 1 a.m. and we have to go at 2 a.m. So you have to try so to sleep. It will be really hard if I don't sleep at all, you know. Yeah. Sunday I don't sleep at all and I just start driving at 2 a.m. and then be wake, wake. You have to try to sleep. Yeah, you do have to try so to sleep. So that's my great stress about this. But I'm excited, guys, because it's the first time. It's the first time that we're all three of us are going to a conference. Because I don't know how how it happened, but every time it was, it was just. We went to two conferences. I know, but it's, I'm, just, I'm trying oh, to make oh it God. sound like we're going to conferences all the time. Oh, okay. But that's that's what I was saying. That's the thing with adventure games that they don't really demo that well. So if you're showing your adventure game in a place where everyone's playing shooters and uh, platformers and and yeah. that kind of stuff, you know, they just kind of get drowned because you, you know you need to take the, your time with them. You you can't really do it in like in a crazy noisy place like Gamescom was. So that's the reason that there are so few, ra relatively few places that you can you know just show off yeah. an adventure game nicely. This is gonna be awesome. Yeah. So excited about. It. Yeah. 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 Oh, let me just keep so up with So 3.0, that. she came this morning and she ate and then she left. Yeah, that's how she's been treating us she's lately. That's why she's my cat. Yeah, that's why she's your she cat. Doesn't, she doesn't spend time with us anymore. <laughs> but speaking of cats, we're very happy that we managed to find the foster kitten. Yeah. A home. No, a my very, very... is calling me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, family's calling us properly. So we had this little foster kitten that we love very much and we miss him. We miss yeah. him very much, Felix, but yeah. Found him a, home. a very nice old lady that had had yeah. a couple of cats that sadly died. And she initially said that she didn't want a, another cat. She was going to get, get a dog, but then, you know, just we were like, uh, let, let, let us just bring you the kitten so you can take a look at him and see if you want him. And then she was like, oh, she just melted when he saw she, she saw him. So many chemicals in that bathroom. Yeah. It smells like chemicals. And then, uh, yeah, yesterday, one night later, like one day later, she called us and she said that, that he adapted yeah. very well and he's he's cool. So we're happy about <laughs> that because he was. We didn't need a background check, Marco, but she seemed very nice and she had all the toys ready and. Yeah, we went there. Yeah, and... had the toys ready. Had like a, the little pet bed ready and uh, the yeah. litter box and everything so, so and she, she has really a, wanted the cat huh? so she, really wanted she really wanted the cat she had like a, off than living yeah, under the car because she has yeah. like a two story not two story like a one like, yeah actually a two story house it's a bit much bigger house than we have and so he's going to have a lot of space to explore mm. and he was sort of terrorizing our cats because our cats are old and they just want to chill out and sleep he was constantly just jumping on them like a vampire cat and biting their necks and stuff and they were like very they were very cool with him they were like just taking it yeah. but yeah i think i think everyone's better off yeah, this the way angry puppy is a thing. <laughs> yeah yeah what can we do yeah actually it's the landlord's dog. yeah it's the landlord's dog and I would go pet him, but he's a big ass Belgian Shepherd, he's and really mean. I think he's really mean. He's pissed off because they don't walk him enough. He's always yeah. locked in a cage. It's not a cage. It's like he has his little paddock, like his. It's very small. It's rather small. They walk him every once in a while, but hey, 
What can you do? What can you do? And uh, I wonder let's how see my what life else. would be like if I was locked up. Well, I experienced that today when I locked myself in the bathroom because we have a very wonky uh, lock mechanism that's messed up in the bathroom. So you really need to jiggle it a lot, like jiggle the key around a lot before escaping the bathroom. And today I really thought that I was I was blocked there. But you know what you realize when you're locked in the bathroom? It's the best place that you could get locked into. It is. Because think you about have it. Water, you water and you can yeah, pee and you can pee and take a poop. You know, because if you're blocked in an elevator or something for four hours, you need to poop. Think about it. It's horrible. That's what why are you I do? always have uh, what are napkins you with me. Yeah, but <laughs> you still. <laughs> no, you still them. I know, but you still need it's to poop. Sick. Like, okay, it's yeah, good that you can wipe your butt. It. Pants down. <laughs> You do what you gotta do, man. Yeah, but the damage is still done. Like, the moment that your it rescuers arrive... The yeah, I mean, it would be weird if there are, like, four or five other people there, but... <laughs> you know? But it's, it's, it's like in Sims. When Sims gotta go, Sims gotta go. That's yeah, why that's they say true. about that's the ladder, so... That's true. No, Sims it's are better loaded. than doing it on yourself. You're like, everyone, I'm sorry you have to go through this. Here are the napkins. <laughs> but even if you're by yourself, when people come and rescue you, you're it's still there with a bunch shit. of poop. Right? Yeah. Well, at least you don't have to sleep in it. Well, well I just realized... Well, you know, if it gets really uh, long time, then you might have to sleep <laughs> in your own pool. Oh my god. Stephen King had a short story, which was the most horror... Where he has story to sleep in his own poop? Ever. Where someone is locked in a public toilet. And um, so, yeah, that's... that's. And he tries to escape there after being there for days, and he tries to escape. Has to crawl in the poop. Really? Yeah. What's it called? I don't know, man. It's just, <laughs> don't read it. It will haunt you forever. <laughs> no, but that's the that's the very first thing that popped into my mind when I realized that I was locked in and I couldn't get out. I was like, oh my god, what if I have to pee? Oh, I'm in the bathroom. It's okay. <laughs> so I was just relaxed instantly. I instantly chilled out. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think you could get trapped in our kitchen because we have those sliding doors. Maybe if they mm -hmm. malfunctioned. Our no, yeah. kitchen is really small. Yeah. Yeah. So, what? How do we get to? How do we know. get to talking about poop and stuff and getting locked in Let's elevators? Talk about the game. Yeah. So going back to the game, <laughs> I'm excited, guys. There's only three backgrounds that I haven't touched yet. Oh my god. At all. Like I haven't touched them at all. I have. So Other three backgrounds that, that I haven't touched at all, three or four, I don't recall exactly, that are being worked on, that I'm working on in parallel. And uh, the rest of them are either complete or above 80% done. So that's awesome. crazy. I can't believe and, uh, it. We have a lot it. of characters in the last backgrounds, a lot of secondary characters to animate. Not really. So we're I don't want to give good. away. They are, there are, at a, I, like, at the very end, Yes, but other than that, you're right before, not that many. Cool. There still are so characters that need to be animated. Still, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty advanced. Yes, the backgrounds is the most advanced. Uh, Animation-wise, we, we still have a chunk of work to do, but I'm good with it. And I'm really happy that you've had a lot of time, because I hadn't had time to work on animation, had nothing to work on graphically. You've had a lot of time to make music. And by the way, can we play some sure. music? Definitely. Yeah. Are, is, your, is your, is your um, OBS set up so that we can listen to it? Um, yeah. Might be. <laughs> yeah. The select or the run select? Uh, I don't know, you said that you, the, whatever you were working on today. I worked on all the songs I've made. Oh, you worked on all the songs. You were talking about the particular one oh, that was, yeah. 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 Alrighty, guys, so I don't know about the, I hope the levels are right. If not, it should be working. Cool, cool, cool. It's not. It's not? It is. It is? Yeah, so now we have a little atmosphere. <coughs> Sorry, atmosphere. <laughs> I don't know what, what that was. <laughs> it is working. Yeah, are okay. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. So we have how many 
So you alone... <clears throat> I'm sorry, I don't know what's going on with my voice here. I think Kami alone has worked on something like 30, more than 30 pieces of music, right Kami? Oh man. What? What's yeah. the problem? The problem is that I didn't think to check if it, it exported oh, correctly. Oh, so not yeah. again, not again. There's this exporting yeah. bug in have, FL I Studio. I have a bug, I have a bug. Yeah, okay, so. anyway. So if you want, I can open the FL Studio. Yeah, open the FL Studio. We can play it directly from uh, FL I'm Studio. I'm sorry guys, so that that's not how it, it was supposed to sound. So Flimsy, we will be leaving for Bucharest um, Sunday night, actually Monday morning at 2 a.m. Mm. And uh, Nick was gonna have to drive for how many hours? Oh, only six. Six hours. Well, I guess the advantage being that at night the road is a bit clearer, I guess. Less cars on the road. Unfortunately, we live in... That's not that. Huh? It's not? No, we have to be there at 8 a.m. Yeah. That's why we're going. No, 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 I know, but I'm saying that maybe the road, the roads are going to be a bit, a bit Did clearer. Did it sound good before, maybe? Okay. Yeah. And since we don't have highways, it's... It's uh, gonna it take a while. It, 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 it cut some samples. It does? Even in, in FL Studio? Yeah. Is it working? Is it working? Is it working? Or are you just fascinated with it? Yeah, I'm just listening. I haven't heard the C there. I wasn't sure if it was cutting Love or it. not. The samples. No, oh, I have to listen to this properly. I'll listen oh. to this a bit later. <laughs> yeah, comes in the zone. Yeah, so songs from the Adams family. <laughs> so yeah, we are we are very excited to be showing the game properly this time. It's gonna be a little bit tiring probably probably because somebody's gonna have to man the booth constantly Me. for two. I will just sleep there. I will the woman chair. the booth. <laughs> you will woman the booth. I'll no, we'll just, just sleep on the we'll chair. take it's we'll okay. take We'll take turns. But we'll I do want to go to some conferences because they yeah, sound Yeah, me really too. Me too. It's just that this this year, um, I, uh, just want to sleep. I understand that um, you know um, the press is gonna be there, so we're excited about that because we didn't really get any kind of serious press before. Because when you're sending your when when you're doing your Kickstarter and you're contacting press, nobody's gonna write about you because you haven't proven yourself. You know, you haven't proven yourself. And people don't really write about Kickstarters anymore. They're not newsworthy anymore. It's very rare that that happens. So. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll take a. We should ask for a GoPro. And if you yeah, that's what I was gonna say, but I don't know. I got I got sidetracked. So we're gonna take a GoPro and we're gonna film everything. We're gonna film everything, and then we'll I don't know. We'll do we'll do a super cut of some of, of what's been going on there. Oh man. <laughs> More work. Don't you miss <laughs> More work. I don't miss Premiere at all. At all. That was way too much work. That was way too much work. I mean, it was fun. Documentary came out nicely. More By the work. way, if you haven't seen it yet, you can just scroll down. I miss Broland. He was saying more work. So nice. You can scroll down and click watch our documentary. There's a big button right underneath the stream if you haven't watched it yet. Also filmed that only with a GoPro. But. Yeah, we'll take a GoPro and film everything, document everything. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the. I don't know what what the rules are with the pitch. Can you film it? Can you not film it? I have no idea. Just follow the rules. Of yeah. If it's cool, we will film it. Is it? We're gonna be like, is it cool to film it? And they're gonna be, yeah, yeah, it's cool. Okay, then we'll film it. So yeah, film that too. Yeah, cause we. Uh, I haven't. I have. Was... They say no map, going to film. <laughs> I wanted to do a Kickstarter update, but I figured since these events were going on, like the whole Adventure Treff party and the Gamescom thing and Dev Play, I figured you know we'd just wait for all these things to happen and then we'd have something to and have interesting stuff to mention in the Kickstarter update. Are you okay, Kami? You're just zoning out there. <laughs> I don't know. 
Are we all just tired or something or what, what's mm -hmm. going on here? Tired. See, we didn't get the communist Cheetos. That was our big mistake. That was our first mistake and our biggest mistake. I'm hungry for two days. I'm just constantly hungry. I don't know, man. Do do what again? The the what? The pitch. Oh, the pitch. Oh yeah, sure. I don't know. I'm just thinking. I'm I'm just gonna get some very general, uh, some like some very general ideas and just yeah. freestyle it. But if we do win the Nordic game competition, don't even consider that. I'm not even taking it into consideration. No, uh, the right team already won, Carmen. Hmm? The right team already won. What right competition? Team? This is how the things work with the pitch. You know, it's just for public. There is already a winning winner. Oh come on, Niku, don't say no, that. You, that's how things work. You don't man. know that. I know. You don't I, know that. I just yeah, have to <laughs> see in what country we live in. Ignore Niku. If we do win the, the Nordic game competition, we will go to Malmo in Sweden to present yes. to the another to the next level. I think it's actually Malmo. Malmo. <laughs> This yeah, would be the really cool. Are arranged. Niku, oh, come don't, on, Niku. Say, don't say that. You don't know that. Yeah. Everything is. Niku's kidding. I would be surprised oh my God. if it was. And it this be is, like, guys. Wow, it's not. This is Niku's sense of humor. Yeah. Please don't take you it literally. You can see there's this funny. He doesn't mean it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Malmo. Yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. I'm very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I'm oh, curious if all the people are as tall as people say they are. Okay, I'm gonna play another song. Yeah, cool. It would be really cool to go there. No, it it actually, Marco, I know it's a cliche, but it actually was an honor to be nominated. And I, I am very sad about one thing. I was talking to a friend who has... <laughs> Even if it's not true. <laughs> no, seriously. I have a friend who has an awesome looking indie game uh, that he entered into the competition and he wasn't selected. And he told me the reason why he wasn't selected like one a member of his team submitted the game and forgot to link gameplay video to it oh. like you were supposed like there were like only a five five you know things that you needed to enter and didn't link the gameplay video it was the same so i guess he was disqualified and, uh, going to the <laughs> game jam they weren't taking it seriously and then they weren't caught. No, but in this case it was such a stupid mistake and it's such a beautiful, awesome game yeah. and it's just so frustrating. I feel very, very bad for them. I but don't know about things like this. I, I still try not to think. I know, but it's just so unjust, you know? Like, I mean, you can't blame the organizers. Like, you can't. I mean, they can't accept you without gameplay but video. I don't want to say on stream. But anyway, it just really sucks because the game is really, really awesome. So mm, that's, that's yeah, that's bad. why you gotta be really, really careful with these stuff. About these things. Yeah, you do have to re be realistic about these things. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what mom. We have a friend who lived there. Yeah. Yeah. Mom. 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 We know. Anyway, yeah. If we. It would be awesome to go to both Germany and Sweden for the first time this year. Yes, but it's not. No, the 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 Sweden thing is next year. Oh, in it's January. next year. Yeah, January. I think. Yeah, I think it's January. Oh. It'd be awesome. I just don't want to get my. No, huh? of course not. It was what? just saying. the Nordic Games thing. I don't want to get my hopes up because you know I'm always. Yeah. They're always going to get crushed. You know, and not always. Oh come on, Nico. <laughs> Crushed. Yeah, that's, that's why no we did the Kickstarter. Not have any that's hopes. why we got funded on Kickstarter and work on our dream game because all our hopes got crushed. Hey, my no, face. I hope for nothing. <laughs> and we're back to the poop talk. Oh, there's no poop. I sometimes hope for bad things, you know. So then my hopes yeah, work I showed you. out. Yeah, Nico, you know? that's weird. I showed you that that weird Kickstarter game today, the horror one, the very Geigery one. And it's so calming, it has a, <laughs> such a shooting effect. I really like it, you know, like... It's, it's like a very creepy guy to sleep. It's, it's like the, the atmosphere, the song, the music, the everything. It's so calm and it's like, you know, just you're just easing into it. It's not. I wish I could. I'm just gonna hey, link... Hey, mind face. Welcome to hey, the Hey, mind face. 
I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'll just, I'm just gonna, I wish I could link you guys the, but I, I, it does, it's not <laughs> worth getting up and going to the, to the other computer and looking it up and stuff. I don't think She's, would have seen no, it, but I know, I know. A very creepy Geigerish. No, it's not horror it game. Creepy. <laughs> okay. Nico is either it a troll and he is a troll. No, it was slow pace. All either. right, guys, guys, I'm not, very I'm not weird. gonna, I'm not gonna get up and link it. But no, it's nice. Yeah. I mean, if you, it's sometimes you pray before yeah, you sleep. Yeah, but doesn't want to see creep. horror right, games just, before going. Just Google to scorn. Just Google scorn game. S C O R N. And uh, that's the kind of thing that Nico finds <laughs> soothing, which is so. I don't. I really don't want to start asking for human skulls for Nico because no, he just no. might, he just please might please be able no. to provide them. Maybe he's gonna be like, so do you need them skinned or is it? Yeah, I mean, that, that, <laughs> how fresh do they need to be? Uh, that game has a shooting effect. I mean, the scene, the world, everything. It's like a dreamland. It is like a like a bad dreamland. No, like it's a not. nightmare land. Yeah, that's yeah, a good yeah. dreamland. Yeah, it does look like agony. Exactly. I, I always mix these up. I think agony is like a lot more intense and gory and reddish and stuff. It's literal hell, right? Scorn is very much Geiger. But yes, I would not call either one of those soothing. But hey, you know, we all get soothed by different things. What can you do? I'm a very... Yeah, it's I'm like the place you go when all your hopes are gone, you know? And it's that calm, peaceful way where you're no longer wishing anything, you just exist over oh, there. Oh, okay. So you you're... Know, yeah. So you're seeing it as like a very zen thing, right? Yeah. It is such a zen world. Zen cannot be related to horror games, <laughs> gory gagger games, Jesus. I mean, just... I mean, okay, I understand. But even the gore is so slow-paced and... You know, it's like, it's not fast paced like a 3D shooter or something. It yeah. happens so slow, so zen, so calming. It is an absolutely beautiful game. Yeah, like, it it's is. Awesome I'm not saying this as a bad thing. No, no, me neither. It is, it is. I just wouldn't say it's soothing. It's just, mind phase agrees with Nick. Okay, so maybe we're the weird ones here. I don't know. You know, soothing, soothingness is in the eye of the beholder. I have no idea. Anyway, it's a, it's I, I go to Kickstarter a lot. I used to do it daily. I don't do it daily because I don't have that time. But very rarely do really backing worthy projects appear anymore. And this one looks awesome. So I'm, I'm gonna back it even in, even on general principle. Even though you know since I'm I'm not really in the mood for that kind of game right now lately. Part one, Michael. But. You said no typing. Yeah, screen, apparently so. it's it's part one of two. I don't know. It's weird because I knew of this game before. I thought it was I, I thought it was already out because I knew about it. Like I knew about Scorn, mm -hmm. and I just saw it on Kickstarter today, and I was like, whoa, okay, how come this is on Kickstarter? But looks like a really good campaign and looks like a great game. So hopefully they make it. I think Kickstarter needs more good games because it's constantly like there's constantly two hundred games on Kickstarter at any given time and sad I'm sad to say most of them are just thrown up there no good campaigns no not really good pitches so yeah I'm happy I'm happy we did our Kickstarter last year uh, we probably would have done a lot better had we done it even earlier like 2013 2014 would have been ideal but then again yeah we, we weren't even considering being able to do like a, like a PC game back then you know I guess you just need to dream big. Dream big! Well, don't dream at all. Yeah. Oh, what's going on with Duke Grabowski? Uh, from what I understand, if I recall correctly, there's, an, there's a very cool and in-depth interview with the guys on AdventureGamers.com. It was put up uh, like a few months ago. If you look back, you're gonna find it. And I think they're saying that they, ha they got a publisher and they're gonna keep doing the episodes from what I understand. So, what they have released so far, the Duke Grabowski that they've released is just episode one. So I'm excited about that. Didn't get the chance to play it, as is the and case with almost everything. For kick, for, for Kickstarter. Yeah, where? Hey, Golly from Hell! Don't you feel that going on Kickstarter you can easily overcommit? Uh, yeah. So Sort of. It depends. There is that pressure where, especially if, if you're starting to get overfunded, there's that pressure of offering more and more. You know? 
there definitely exists that pressure. We sort of did it, but we did it in a sort of smart way. We didn't promise. I mean, for each $5,000 extra that we got, we promised something pretty substantial. And... Rudolich don't got his peak, but I'm happy that he got his Hunter's Mark. I think it's, it's a better fit, the Hunter's Mark. Yeah, I think so too. I, I really like how it turned out. No, but the, the piggy wasn't gonna be... The, the doggy wasn't gonna be like a gameplay edition. It's just gonna be cosmetic. But anyway... Yeah, there absolutely is that. Uh, it's hard. It's very hard to deal with Kickstarter. You know, it's 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 hard. Not, it's hard to refrain from from over promising. That's absolutely right. Especially if, you, if you're at your first game and you yeah. don't know exactly what, I mean, how long it takes, how how much it costs to make a whole game, how like for every single thing you commit to and promise how much effort would that imply yeah our biggest regret kickstarter wise was not foreseeing that hey we might get more money than we're asking for and yeah. so the game would take longer than we predicted because once you set your estimated time you can't like your estimated delivery time you can't change it anymore so even though the the game even though we got more money and we got wanted to make more we still had that made to 2017 estimated time which we obviously passed and that's the one thing that I think we messed up with on Kickstarter because mm -hmm. you know but people are pretty okay with with us being a little bit late Flimsy I don't remember exactly who the publishers are I don't remember exactly who the publishers are but I recall Bill Tiller saying that all five episodes are gonna eventually happen and they do have a publisher who's funding stuff so I doubt that they'll be coming back to Kickstarter uh, from what I understand, I mean, I think the reception was pretty good for Duke Grabowski. Like, the art is always going to be great from Bill Tiller. And, uh, I don't know, I really wish that more would happen. Sadly, with episodic games, we, with indie episodic games, you never know when the next episode is going to come up. So, that's also one of the reasons that we really wanted to make the game fully. Like, not cut it up into episodes. Even though we knew that we were gonna make it, you know, there's that pressure of releasing at certain, certain times, certain dates. So I think we, I think we made a, the right choice by just making the whole game, you know. Oh, the article, you mean? I don't know. Months back, I don't know. I pretty much read everything that Adventure Gamers publishes, so I don't know. Maybe Google Bill Tiller uh, or Duke Grabowski interview Adventure Gamers. So yeah. Yeah, man, that's so weird because, I don't know, maybe the, the 3D models thing, it's it's weird. I think maybe they outsourced that or something because there were some things that you... I, I don't see Bill Tiller okaying or <gasps> making something like that where the character, the 3D models would be talking and they'd just not be even be looking mm -hmm. at each other. So there were some weird things. Maybe they, were, they just ran out of budget or time and that's maybe the reason that that happened. I don't know. It's, uh, but the backgrounds are just pff, amazingly good. Would you consider investing the game ahead, finish like 80%, then go to Kickstarter to break even for and profit? Uh, pfft, yeah, sure, but first of all, you need to find Invest that investor. Ahead from where? Yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. Nobody gives you money. Everyone wants to take it away, especially the government. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if you can you get investors. If you have a bit of money, they're like, give me some. Yeah. And if you don't, they take it away, all of it. Yeah, no, I think we really, we very much preferred going to Kickstarter from the get-go because, you know, it's one thing for one entity to, 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 you know, to lose tens of thousands of dollars if some, if the game doesn't work out and it's a whole different thing for more people to, you know, to mm -hmm. lose, I don't know, 15 bucks or whatever their investment in the game was, you know. I mean, it's a lot, it's, it's, a, it's a lot, I don't know. I just saw it has no nose. It's a lot less stress, what? On your t-shirt, Adventure Time. Finn? Yeah. Finn never had nose. Only when he sniffs stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No nose. But the thing with Kickstarter is that... It's like Voldemort. From yeah. what I, from, from what I can <laughs> from see, the, the more years pass, the less money you can realistically make on Kickstarter if you're not a... So Big Kickstarter name. is going downhill. I don't know, man. It's it's not. I don't think it's. People have been saying that it's dying for years and years and years. But 
and that's definitely not happening but uh, yeah i think the no never the amount disappoint of money you can many make, people yeah never disappoint the people power to the people that's what i say yeah Yeah, Sansa Square, maybe they're gonna reuse them. I'm thinking that they're gonna reuse them, yeah. And we have to fight for the children. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, 30% steam, 16% in Romania. And you need to pay the US government, too. Now and The Romanian government. Yeah, the Ru I mentioned the Romanian government. But we do have this clause, this thing with the with this understanding with the US so that instead of 30% just we just they only take 10% I think if you're from Romania but not all countries have that so yeah you get you do get taxed a lot a lot so yeah, yeah I don't know and I was discussing this with another like there's another we're not doing this for money we're well, on, on the one hand, of course, we're doing this for the love of games and for art. On the other hand, we want to keep making games so that the game needs to sell at least decently so we can keep doing this. That's yeah, the sad I reality. I don't have enough money so I can afford the lifestyle that I don't have right now and be able to work on games. On games, yeah. But that still and means I that you need to sell have copies. To this for more money. Yeah. And we have investments to recoup and stuff. Having so. a mansion. Imagine cleaning up. <laughs> and then you have you need to have a cleaning lady and then you have people over and everything gets over complicated and then you're asking yourself what happened with my life it used to be so simple and everything goes wrong from there so. no michael i didn't mean it i didn't mean it in that way it's just that you know it just psychologically impacts people I mean, no, it, not even that. It's just easier to ask for less from more people than to ask from one. You know, if you ask for that kind of money from one investor, they're they're just gonna see. They're just gonna say, okay, show me your business plan. Show me how the market is. You can't. You know, it's better to have one dollar from ten million people than have uh, ten million dollars from one. People, yeah, but it's just hard. From one guy. I think it's really you know, hard. Ten million people. For one dollar, I'm not going to track you down and murder you. But one guy for ten million dollars is definitely going to do that. <laughs> no, but even just convincing an investor, you know, you go, you if you go to an investor and you say we want to make a point-and-click adventure, they're like, uh, okay, what's the most? Is it the most profitable genre out there? Because of course they only care about recouping their money and making more. And you're like, eh, not really. They're this niche thing. And they're probably gonna say, okay, come back to me when you're making this procedurally generated uh, roguelike. Yeah, it's about bringing democracy to Darks. the games, right? Yeah. Not, so they're, they're not just financed by big companies who just follow the same pattern to make the same game that, make, that brings profit. But if you take money from more people, then you can make money for weird people like us who like point and click adventure games yeah michael uh, the u.s i don't think the u.s takes any kind of tax if you're from the u.s and you sell on steam so you don't have to pay taxes but us we have to pay what do you mean of course it does no if they're from the u.s i think there there is some kind of tax exemption so if you're if you're Putting up, US, a, if you're putting up a game, if that's I think that's how it is. If you're, you're putting up a game on Steam and you're from oh, the US, you only pay the Steam fee. I think so. I'm not sure. I think I read this somewhere. For every money you earn. I read that. I, I don't know. Anyway, you're a lot more screwed if you're from somewhere else. Yeah. Well, of course, because you have to pay two two governments. You have to pay that government and your government. Yeah. Fucking governments, man. Yeah, but anyways, Governments are weird. it's not the number of games sold, but the price you pay per game. Uh, yeah, that's another thing that I was discussing with a, with another indie adventure developer from um, Serbia, I think. They want to put a game up on Kickstarter and we're just discuss discussing tier levels. And he was the opinion that we sold the game way too cheap on Kickstarter. I don't think that we did, because he was like, Man, yeah, guys, you have this great game, you should have asked for... Twenty-five dollars or twenty dollars on, uh, you know, the the normal tier, and do the early bird at 
fifteen dollars, for mm-hmm. example, you know. But I don't think that's the way to go. Either way, we didn't we didn't well, know back then. We still don't know what we're gonna price our game at. The thing is, if you ask for too little money, then people are going to think your game is not quality. True. Because people equate quality with how much a thing costs. Yeah. Sadly. And if you ask for too much money, they'll think, oh, it's too expensive, I'm not yeah. going to buy it. So you have to find just the right amount. I don't know, I think we went, I, I think it was the right choice to go $15 on the base, like the basic stuff and $10 um, discounted because yeah, that's the average the cost. Right yeah, I think that's the average cost of an I indie game, so. Can. Hey, retro gamer. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I must. I might be misremembering that. Might well, might have. Of course, read you have to somewhere. pay tax for your money. Otherwise, it would be crazy. I yeah. thought. I thought it was something like uh, you know, to, in order to encourage the industry, no, blah blah blah. You don't so. need to. No, it's just that you don't have to pay for two, two like for two countries. You yeah. know, because if you're from another country, you still have to pay the United States, and you have to pay your own country. So that it takes a lot of. But okay, we have this. We have this thing where we don't have to pay thirty percent. We pay ten percent. But Cayman either way, Islands, we need to open a bank <laughs> But think about it. Like thirty percent to Steam, right? Sixteen percent in Romania. Another thirty percent in the U.S. How much is that? Because I've not. But I don't know. Seventy-six percent of your money gone. Do you pay? Like in Romania, you pay 16% of how much you make on Steam, or do you pay 16% of the money that's left after you paid the US government? No, I think they're, they're not no cumulative. They're like, they first take that, and then from what it remains, yeah. they take another percentage, so and from what it I remains. I know too little math so to understand what the percentage. difference is. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big difference. So Steam takes 30%. Yeah. Then you're left with 70% of the money. Yeah. And the US government takes. 10% of those money, not of all money. Uh, it's like you have $10 and you have to pay 25 and 50. Okay. So if you, someone's take 25 out of it, you're left with uh, 20%, let's say, to make it easier, you're left with 8. Okay. And then someone's take 50% of those uh, 8. That's only so four they dollars. take 4. So 4.2, it's uh, but 6. How do they... So in the end, they didn't take uh, 70%, they only took 60%. I understand. But how do they... What, uh, what establishes the order that... Like, what's the oh. order? Well, the take? order is uh, Steam. You're selling on Steam. Yeah. Then okay. comes the US government because so the, the Steam is in their country. Oh, okay. in, then comes the Romanian when you people because you need money here. When you pay the Romanian tax, that's that's on, on the profit you make, not... So... No? Yeah, in the profit you make, it's exactly So, coming. it's after you've paid Steam and the US government. You only pay the tax for the money that's left. Yeah, I'm not good at math either. Yeah, either way, it's a lot. I mean, it's just... Uh, I understand that you need to be taxed on these things. Well, it's if just I'm going to get $1 per, per game, I'm going to be so happy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even dreaming of getting $1. I mean, I'm more like 50 cents or something. I don't know. $1, man. There will be something. And, you know, we still like... If I get one dollar and we sell 10,000 copies, it will be the hit. One dollar, that's all I'm asking. (laughs) One dollar per copy. But I don't think we'll get it. We'll get like 50 cents. I mean, I'm talking about myself. Get like 50 cents or something. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, you, we, you don't do it for, obviously we don't do it for the money, but realistically, you know, we have to be grown up about these things and realize that we need and to... $1 s- is a lot of money. We need, to s- we need to sell a lot of copies yeah. in order to be able to make the next game and make it better and bigger and hope, you know, ideally, even though this is a great way of making games, just the three of us, but ideally maybe get a little, maybe get a little more help. Nico, Marco will give you a dollar too, for you to get. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm always happy. We get shares of the profit or everything's going, oh no, everything is not going to our producer. No, the thing is that, the, the, the thing is that, uh, you know, there's an investment that was made in the making of the demo that was By basically... the company yeah. that we shall not name. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's just our boss, former boss. Yeah, so he invested in us producer. making the making the demo, so we have to pay him back for yeah, the Yeah, we have to money. recoup that. Because the Kickstarter money were to fund the, the making of the actual game, but we also worked on the demo, so we have to yeah. re- recuperate the money we spent for the demo. 
And then the so rest first we have to we pay him. Yeah. And then, and then we the split the rest. And then the scene, <laughs> and then the US government, and what's left is for us. I don't know, man. It's such a stressful conversation. And then we it's have just... to buy food for 3.0. Yeah. And, like, and then we'll get more foster kittens. Yeah, so a lot of. <laughs> it just goes, yeah, it's been. It just goes in a lot of places. Yeah. It sucks to have to think about these things, but <laughs> yeah, it's just. It is a constant stress. I would be lying if I did if I said it wasn't a, a stress, you know, because we need. It's our one shot, basically. It's our one shot. If it doesn't work out, I don't know that. I well, know. We can always hang ourselves. You know? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Uh, interests? I don't. I don't think so. We just need to recoup the amount of money that was invested in the demo, oh, yeah. basically. Yeah. So our yeah. our producer was very nice. No, no interest yeah. on, that, on that. Yeah. But we need to set up our LLC and everything. We didn't have time to but, do any kind of stuff. Like the like deal we was when we start making game. money from the game first, we're gonna pay him, and then if yeah. we keep on selling the game, then. Well, yeah, because you know. I don't think the Kickstarter would have been as successful if we didn't have the the demo. I really don't think so, because you know who would believe us that we could actually yeah, make a game? You know, so that demo, even though not everyone downloaded it or anything, even the fact that it exists, you know, and there's the, there's footage of it, you know, it just makes people more confident that you can actually make a game with yeah. it. And it took us a lot more time because you know then we were learning, man. We were that was the first time we were making that kind of stuff, so. I need you, but not in that way. <laughs> yeah, he is a great guy. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Retog. That's very, very nice of you. We really appreciate it. We really appreciate it. Yeah, we try and do that for 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 cool indie games that we like, and we also try and play them sometimes during the weekend to offer them a little bit more exposure. And we do key giveaways. Oh, by the way, we should be oh, doing yeah. that let's giveaway do that soon. And let's go home because I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Okay. We've been streaming for an hour. And okay, guys. So this is the part minutes. where probably everything goes wrong. I've enabled Nightbot for this alone. We put up with his bullshit all day oh. long. It kept bullying everyone. So hopefully this time it works. So all right, guys. Here we go. I'm gonna go to my computer and enable the giveaway. Fingers crossed that it's gonna go. If fingers crossed it's gonna work. If not, we're gonna have to do the random dot random dot org thing again. So please be very active in the chat or whatever. That I, I don't think that matters. You can just so, see the viewers. Don't please don't. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go and try to do the giveaway and let's find out who is the lucky winner of Bertram Fiddle. Oh shit! I should post a link to it or something first. So I'll just post the link to the game so you guys can see what's what you're getting. <laughs> And then we're gonna do the whole giveaway thing, and hopefully it's gonna work. Hopefully. Yeah, I really need to be Blue's fed. Man, okay, I'm acting. Blah blah blah. Was, um, <laughs> I had lunch six hours ago. No, more than six hours ago. No, I haven't eaten anything since, and I'm so hungry. I can't trust the night boss. Look, it even the camera me. is all shaky, and uh, yeah. All right, guys, we're ready. Like there's no lunch. We're gonna do the giveaway. And hopefully it's gonna work. Okay, let's count it down from ten. Okay, everyone, count down with us. No, no, okay. you have to. You have to record the. What? Thing. The, the it's what? Being, um, it's being recorded on Twitch. It's yeah. Okay. All right. So hopefully it's gonna work. So everyone, count down with me. You two guys. Yeah. Ten. Nine. nine eight, eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, rolling! Retalk! Woo! Congratulations! <laughs> oh, you have it! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Well, come down. Oh, okay. <laughs> come down. Alright, guys. Uh, yeah, okay, let's count up from five this time. Okay. Once again, Miku, you need to do it this time too, because you slammed. No, I didn't uh, hear I'm you. I'm sorry, that me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's do it again. He won yeah. when people started to count down on stream. They were at nine, so yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. All right. Ten. Nine. nine eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. We're rolling. We're rolling. And it's Trixilia. Hey. Congratulations, Congratulations Trixilia. Trixilia! I'm gonna whisper <laughs> the key to you right now. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> awesome. What's with the sudden silence? I don't know. <laughs> so All right, congratulations. Just... So just whisper the key and then come back to yes, say uh, yes, 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 we yes, should yes, say goodbye. And uh, we will see you guys in for the next switching hour in two weeks, but we'll continue to do our art streams and our development streams. So Yeah, tomorrow development stream. Yeah. <laughs> And Thursday, I think maybe I'm gonna stream because I'm gonna give leave you a break because he's been feeling so sick lately. So I'm just gonna take over the streams. Coolio, all right. Okay. All right, guys. Trixelia, I hope you enjoy that. It's a great game. I really, really like Seb's work. I think he's done a great, 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 great job with it. Uh, looking forward to playing that too at some point. That was it from the Twitching Hour, guys. Thank you so much for hanging Thank out with us. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I really appreciate that you tolerated this very freeform way of just talking bullshit and, you know, very direction directionless. But hey, that's how we do it here. All right, guys. So we will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow with one of Nico's Nico. streams. And Thursday with me. And in I the guess. morning, we'll be, I mean, in the, in the meantime, what did I say in the morning? In the meantime, we'll be looking for skulls and uh, fake uh, yeah but we'll be not Nico yes we don't no. trust Nico. fake skulls fake everything fake, fake skulls fake, fake candles fake leather fake leather everything is fake <laughs> everything is fake fake here. programmer alright guys love you very much thank you again for hanging out with us and being friends of ours and as we always say let's try and synchronize this time peace, peace and love craft peace bye bye guys, guys.